So I don't stream as much as I would like to, but it's something that I will always have fun doing because it allows me to play the games that I want while also having fun with friends and fans. My streaming setup is extremely basic. I actually did a video on my small streaming setup a while back and I will have it linked right up here. But this right here is something that I never realized that can actually up the quality and engagement of my stream. Let's check this out. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk about this. This right here is the Maono Caster Light. This is an audio mixer that allows you to monitor and alter your voice in different forms, while also allowing you to have some extra noises and sounds. Now this is tailored for a lot of use cases, podcasts, interviews, live music, and streaming. But in our case, I'm just going to focus on streaming because that's going to be my main use case for this. So let's give this a check. What's really cool about this specific product is that this is what Maono calls a starter bundle. So in theory, you will get everything you need in this box to get the best experience to handle whatever it is you want to use it for. Inside the box, you get the audio mixer, a microphone, the microphone stand, cables to connect everything, and a nice mic filter. The audio mixer is surprisingly light. I did not expect something like this to weigh almost nothing. I'm not sure if audio mixers of this caliber are supposed to be this light, but I personally like it because it's easy to hold and carry if you need to move it around constantly. The body is a nice hard plastic and the knobs feel really great to use. It has a nice resistance on the smaller knobs with less resistance on the bigger knobs, which are just very satisfying to use. The buttons feel a bit mushy to me. Sometimes I feel like I really have to press them in order to register, but after some time you do get used to it. I think it's better to have it like this so you don't accidentally press them, but then again, it's not like we're going to have this mixer right in front of us, it'll probably be on the side, so if it has a low resistance, I think it'd be better. The microphone that's included is a mix bag. It sounds fine, as you will see later, but it feels super cheap. It's light, but it's made of plastic. It feels like if I drop it, it actually might break. Same thing with the tripod mount. It isn't anything incredible to write about. It does its job fine, but not anything that's going to make you feel like you want to keep using it. I highly recommend you get a mic arm to attach it to. Now this is an XLR mic, but the mixer doesn't have an XLR input, only a 3.5mm input, so it comes with an XLR to 3.5mm cable, which is nice. But I do wish the mixer had an XLR input. You can use a different XLR mic if you want, as long as it doesn't require power to use it like this one, because the mixer cannot supply power to the microphones. Now setting this up took a little while for me because I'm not the most experienced in terms of audio, but it wasn't bad once I figure out what I had to set up and configure. Now I'm going to be using OBS in this case on my actual MacBook Air, and once I set up the auto profiles, it was actually really good to go, so let's see how it is all set up. All right, guys, so this is my streaming setup that I have here set up to show you guys exactly some of the cool features that you can expect from a mixer like this. I'm going to do a very quick rundown, so let's just get to it. Here you have your echo and your monitor dials. The monitor is just so you can hear yourself either louder or less within the mixer. And here is the echo button, and the higher you go up, the more echo it becomes. So depending on what you want to use this for, that is a pretty cool feature to have. By the way, this is how the mic actually sounds straight from the mixer. I'm not really doing any post editing of the audio, so you guys can get a really good idea of what you should expect from a microphone like this. Not absolutely the best quality, but to get you started, I think it's more than enough. You do have this mic dial, and that's just for the mic gain. So if you want your mic to actually hear your voice a little bit stronger or less, you can change that. You do have these dials for the lows, mids, and the highs. That's just to change the tune of your voice to what you want it to sound like. And that recording is for if you want like your OBS or whatever uh, audio application you're using to record to pick up the audio a little bit more or less depending on what you want to do. The music uh, dial, that's for your background noise. So if you have music playing in the background, if you have your video game playing in the background, you can actually change uh, the audio gain on that. So if you want your music to be louder or less, you can easily do that. You do have these buttons over here. 
they have different functions for what you want to do in your use case like for example if you're gonna hit booing that is what it sounds like so it's very loud uh, to be honest you can obviously change that to your liking but it's really cool features to have here you do have your effect so if you want your effect to be a little bit more pro more natural whatever it is that you want to do you can easily do that my favorite my favorite absolute favorite button is the pitch here now i'm going to go and give you guys exactly what these pitches can do you can change from female to male to robot and so i think a baby as well so let's just go ahead and go each one by one because i think this is absolutely hilarious so this is the female voice um obviously depending on what your natural voice is and clearly it can get a little bit scratchy but that's what the female voice sounds like i think it's super weird but also really really cool this is the male voice very dark don't know why the male voice is what it is, but you can definitely start trolling some people if you really care about it. And I can definitely hear some scratching, some of the post editing from the voice changer. Not absolutely perfect, but it does get the job done. This is my absolute favorite uh, pitch. It's hilarious. I don't think it's baby, but it just sounds very energetic, just very funny to be honest for me, and I really like this one. And this is the robot voice. I mean, what else would you expect for something like this? So you can definitely troll your friends if you want. And then when you're done, you would just hit back to the effect button to whatever it is you had it naturally, and then it would just go back to it. I absolutely love the pitches. I think it sounds fantastic. And honestly, that's the one that I'm gonna be using the most just to troll my friends, the streamers, whoever's watching. That is the one that I will use absolutely the most. You do also have options to denoise. It can help you clog up some of the background noise, which I'm currently using right now. You do have music only, and that's if you wanna take a little break, go to the restroom, whatever, hit music only, and whatever it is that you have playing in the background, it will just play that and it won't hear your voice. I think that's a really cool feature to have. You just wanna mute yourself for a few minutes while you take a little break, but have the stream ongoing. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I didn't get to a lot of features here like the loop bag or the side chain, or the fact that you can change your electric pitches with the electron button. Also, there's a Bluetooth function if you wanna connect it to like your tablet or your phone on the go kind of thing. It's really, really awesome. I also didn't talk about a lot of the ports in the back, only because you can do so much with this outside of streaming, but because I'm just focusing solely on the streaming function, a lot of those ports don't really mean much to me, but you can do so, so much with this outside of streaming that I just feel like it's a very nice handy feature that they include a whole bunch of things there for you in the event that you want to go ahead and extend out to things outside of what you currently are doing. For me, in this case, streaming. If I do want to do a podcast, this will be the easiest way for me to set up. So let's go go ahead and wrap this up and give you my final thoughts on this amazing yet awesome mixer. So overall, I really like this Myono Caster Lite. I think for the price of $100, you're getting a very nice bundle that allows you to start to enhance your streaming to a whole new level. I think the features are great in terms of quality and quantity, as you can really do a lot with this, and you can even add the custom sounds if you wish. The mic is not really the best, but at least it can get you started, and I'm glad that it's included in this bundle. But if you guys are looking for a new way to add some spice to your streaming, as well as your podcast or anything else that you might want to use, I think that this is a great product. It's simple to use, very flexible on things other than streaming, and I think it's just a very great tool to have for your audio experience. I wanna thank Maono so much for sending this out to me, as I really, really like this. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit like, and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and we will see you all in the next one.